What's today? September 23rd? Yeah, that seems about right. I mean, what do you want me to expect? We're like almost done with prediction month. And apparently, I'm just trying to put this out because the last one is going to be a big one. Anyway, let's talk about movies, sequels, part twos. Yeah. Uh, here's three examples, I think. Here you go, I guess. Let's start with the most reasonable thing that we can start with. Fast X Part 2, or whatever they want to call it, Fast 11, F11, or whatever they want to call it. Here's my prediction for the story. It would immediately follow up after, after what happened. The ladies are trying to get back to the mainland, and we figured out that Dom and Little D was like, survived. And then we found out the major twist. Dom Cruz had... Uh, Dom Cruz is dead. Dominic Toretto's crew is dead. Yeah, bye-bye, no more. And that makes Dom really angry at Dante Reyes or whoever. And so he says, I... Let's see who else we can find. Meanwhile, we meet the we meet the Hobbs. Hobbs from Shaw. Or is it Shaw? Is it Hobbs? Who's who? Yeah. And then we figured out that yeah, he wants to join too. And then racing, racing, uh surviving, racing. Uh, we found out that the, the ladies finally came back, and Dominic's like, Alright, let's get that mother effer. And that's how the movie ends. Because, of course, Universal wants to make Fast and Furious 12. Yeah. So I think that's how it would go. Like, what do you want from me? We're moving on now. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2. Now, before we go on, let's rewind back to what I said about the summer villain ranking. I said that Gabriel will be a robot. Here's how it would play out. After surviving that, uh, Ethan and his crew would have to somehow get Grace back. Somehow. And then we found out that Gabriel is the human version of the AI because if you remember the last time, he says, you're going to tell everyone about what I'm doing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Woohoo, days say uh, we missed a lot of movie because it's mostly action stuff. I'm pretty sure one, one crew member would die. Um, I don't know, maybe some returning cast members. And the movie would end with, them realizing that they had to shut shut off the AI, and then they successfully do. However, it would have to come at the cost of Ethan Hunt's death. So yeah, that's how I would end the Mission Impossible franchise. Yeah, that's it. The final thing I want to talk about is Spider-Man Beyond the Spiders, which I have a lot of talk about, so uh, stay tuned. We would start with Miles just running away from Miles G. Morales. And then we would see that, yeah, there is no way back. Then he tries to do the thing like, you don't have to be evil. I, just, I help your father with my universe. You don't have to be this way. Then he'll be like, no, you must die. <clears throat> we would see that Miguel would have his white suit. And then we would see Grun Stacy, his and her team by battling Spot in his in in, in, in Miles's universe. And then a bunch of stuff happens, uh death, uh more death, um action stuff, and then the movie would end like Mom, Dad, I'm Spider Man. And then Miguel O'Hara's like, GET THE HELL BACK 
care, Miles Morales. Yo, mother. Then Miles' mom will be like, bro, stop. There's nothing bad. What's wrong with you? You need to stop. And then would be like, yay, everyone had half day ever after, except the spot where he would be reversed back to a hero. Yay. End of Miles Morales' story. <sighs> Can I confess something? I'm tired of doing all these predictions. However, we still have one more left. And let me tell you, this may not be the biggest one. Anyway, enough of that. Please comment in like a year or two thinking that like, bro, why? This was all wrong. No one cares. Okay? Okay. But this is my video and this is my channel, so uh, what are you gonna do, huh? Later.